Here's the Primula Today 9 cup aluminum percolator, which is one of the 9 best camping percolators that I review on this channel, and we'll be testing brew time, usage, capacity, and lots of other cool stuff in this video. In the box, you get the Primula percolator pot, the lid with a perking knob, a filter basket, a stem, a spreader, and some instructions. Standard percolator stuff. I paid about 22 US dollars for it, but for the updated price, you might want to check out Amazon. Here are my personal measurements of the Primula Today 9 cup aluminum percolator. Length from handle to spout, about 8 inches or 20 cm width about 5 inches or 13 cm, height from perking knob to base 8 inches or 20 cm, weight 330 grams or 11.6 ounces. For a size comparison, here's what the Primula percolator looks like beside a 32 ounce and a 16 ounce Nalgene bottle from the side and from the top and it's made in China. To use the percolator, first fill the percolator pot with water. Primula recommends filling the water all the way to the bottom of the lowest row of three holes. For me, this was about 46.5 ounces, so that's about seven and a half, six ounce cups. When on the stove, Primula recommends using only low heat and percolating for no more than three minutes. I tried this, but after 20 minutes of waiting for the water to boil on low heat, I just kind of gave up and put it on medium heat instead. The waiting time is just so long on low heat, and three minutes of perking made the coffee taste a bit under-extracted to me. So if you're interested, here's how I make my own percolator coffee. For me, I use six ounces of water for one cup of coffee. I grind my medium roast coffee into a coarse grind. I use 10 or 11 grams of grounds for one cup of coffee, and I pour it into the filter basket. Next, I place the stem, filter basket, and spreader into the pot close the lid and place the Primula percolator on the stove. My personal preference is to bring the coffee to a boil on medium heat and when it starts boiling you can see the water perking in this transparent knob. After I usually lower the heat slightly to medium low heat and wait about 7 minutes before turning off the heat entirely. Then I let the percolator sit for a few extra minutes to allow the water in the filter basket to drain out and the grounds in the coffee to settle at the bottom before pouring it out to drink. This is just how I do it and how I use all my percolators, but feel free to do whatever suits you best. For brew time, I looked at the time to first perk, which is the amount of time it takes for the water to start boiling. At a 3 cup capacity, or 18 ounces, it took 4 minutes and 45 seconds for the water to boil. At a 6 cup capacity, or 36 ounces, it took 8 minutes and 45 seconds. Bear in mind that these are estimates and can change depending on different factors like the temperature of your water, the surrounding temperature, the amount of heat you use, and stuff like that. I used tap water at room temperature and brought it to a boil on medium heat. After the water started boiling, I let the coffee percolate for about 7 minutes on medium low heat. The Primula percolator is marketed as a 9 cup percolator, but when I filled it with 36 ounces or 6 cups, which reaches the second hole of the spout, when I let the coffee percolate on medium low heat for about 8 minutes, the Primula percolator started boiling over, so I had to quickly turn off the heat. The Primula percolator worked just fine when I brewed 5 cups of coffee or 30 ounces and 4 cups of coffee or 24 ounces. But when I tried brewing just 3 cups of coffee or 18 ounces, here's what my brew looked like. Just water with some grounds. This is because there wasn't enough water to go up the stem and spread over the grounds. My 32 grams of coffee grounds were hardly used. So basically, the Primula percolator is good for brewing a minimum of 4 and a maximum of 6 cups of coffee. The Primula filter basket is actually pretty big. When I packed it to the brim, it could hold easily 120 grams or 4.2 ounces of coffee. The Primula percolator only comes in this capacity. There are no other smaller or bigger options. The Primula aluminum percolator does not have any scale or markings on the inside or outside of the 
pot, which is a little inconvenient. But it does come with this transparent perking knob, so you can tell when the water starts boiling and also the color of your coffee. The horizontal part of the handle near the pot gets pretty hot, but the vertical part stays pretty cool and the handle is sturdy to hold. The Premula percolator is also pretty sturdy on the stove. And because I used a coarse grind, only a minimal amount of grounds got into my last cup of coffee. If you find grinds in your coffee, you can either wet the filter basket or use coffee filter paper. To clean up, just toss the grounds and run water through all the components of the Premula percolator. They can be taken apart easily for a good washing. You can also percolate water to clean it up. It doesn't seem to be dishwasher safe from the reviews though. The pot, stem, filter basket, and spreader of the Primula percolator are made of aluminum, while the handle and the perking knob are made of plastic. The holes of the spreader and the filter basket don't seem to be cut very well and feels very rough against the skin. I think the finish on this percolator is kind of lacking as well. Here are some watermark stains on the inside of the pot and some coffee stains on the filter basket. The stem is also bent and the filter basket and stem don't sit firmly inside the pot so it rattles when I shake it gently. I also could not find any information on the warranty. Overall quality, not that great. For pros, the Primula percolator is made of aluminum which makes it very lightweight. The filter basket is pretty big in case you like to add more coffee grounds. It's also my least expensive camping coffee percolator. As for cons, it's definitely not a 9 cup capacity. In fact, the capacity is pretty limited. You have to brew a minimum of 4 cups to a maximum of 6 cups. There are no scale or cup level markings and the overall quality, finish and construction on this thing is not that great. If you found this helpful so far, please help me hit that like button so this video can be seen by more people. Thank you and I really appreciate it. Do I recommend the Primula Today Aluminum 9 Cup Percolator? Well, if you're on a really tight budget, this Primula Percolator is the least expensive camping percolator that I have. Also, if you need a metal percolator that's portable, aluminum is much more lightweight than stainless steel. But honestly, I'm not a big fan of this percolator. It's not expensive for sure, but I think you get what you pay for. The finish and cutting on this thing is not good, the stem is bent, and the components don't even sit firmly inside the pot. Personally, I would pay slightly more for a much higher quality percolator. To find out which camping coffee percolator I actually recommend, check out this video where I bought, tested, and compared 9 of the best camping percolators. If you prefer to read, my website at campingguidance.com has all this info as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.